lighting. Hey everyone, let's get to it. So a lot of folks have been asking, um, how was I able to get my fiddly fig? This is uh, Figatron, he'll be our little model for today. Um, how was I able to get my fiddly fig to send off new shoots uh, like branches and leaves? Um, I'll show you three different met methods um, that I use and I was successful to get five out of my eight fiddly figs to send off new shoots. So far still waiting on the other three. Fingers crossed. Um, so I went out and grabbed a branch from outside and I'll be demonstrating off of this branch. Um, a couple things you'll need. Uh, you'll need a towel or a napkin of some sort. Um, some alcohol to sanitize your shears and your razor blade. Oh, wait. oh gosh. Um, so let's get to it. So this is a regular branch. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a clipping so it'll be shorter so I can work with it. Um, let's let's start with this right here. Let's see if I can get this to work. Ta-da! So with it, I'll start off with my favorite method that you know I always get it to work that way. Um, start off with your branch. This is not a real Philly thick branch, but it's very close to it. They do the same thing. Um, so this is the correct way to notch. So you'll go in, raise blade of course. You go in, you'll push into the branch, just deep enough until it starts to bleed. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can either keep it that way, but just to make it look better, you go just above on an angle and you notch downward, taking out a portion of the branch. So it should look something similar to that. Don't worry about the cosmetics, like it will heal over, or not, not, not necessarily over, but you'll either get a new branch or a new a set of leaves coming out of there, just above or beneath, if not, you know, right out the middle. That's my favorite way of notching, you ask me. Um, let's try a different method. Oh, this is the one that I was able to successfully get uh, a new branch and some leaves to shoot off the old branch using this way. <laughs> um, so you just basically just go into the branch, go in just a little bit, and then just twist around. This will work as well. And of course, the branch won't be moving. The shears will be moving, of course. Um, and it will show look something similar to, where did I do it? Similar to that. You just basically just going around like so like that. And then the next way, well, I like this way too. This is the way they show you on like YouTube or something like that. But I prefer the actual notch itself because that's what I prefer to use. I don't know. Um, so this way that they normally show on YouTube, I'll go this way. You just go down like that and you just push down into it. Be very careful because you can't cut yourself if you're not careful. And just push down into it. And there it is. And you just keep it, yeah, just keep it just like that. I mean, if you want to keep it, it works. <laughs> it works. So yeah, that's how, what it'll look like at the end. Where did it go? Right there. This is exactly what it'll look like. So yeah, that's the three different ways that I use to um, put that down to successfully notch my fiddly figs. Um, I'll give you guys an update. I'll show you how the one that I notched um, back at the beginning of January and how the leaves are like coming in. I went ahead and took the top portion of the branch off. Um, it wasn't healthy. Uh, it wasn't bleeding. So I mean, it's pretty much dried out. It was very hollow. So give me one second. So this is an update to one of the fiddly figs that I did do. And look at those leaves. They're all come in so big and pretty. So it's like 13 in total. I'm still waiting on a couple others to come in. This particular one, to hold it. This particular one will be a branch. There's so far three leaves shooting out of it. This one here will be a branch as well. Um, this one here will be a branch as well, a branch branch. So I'm looking at four to five branches so far. Can't wait to this get a little bigger. Um, I do continue to fertilize because all of my figs are still um, sending off new leaves. Uh, so I fertilize once a month during the winter months. 
and then twice uh, during one month, so every two weeks. So if you have any more questions or anything, just hit me up and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Again, have a great day. Bye-bye.